Hello, everybody, and welcome back inside the box for another episode of Gumpla Kit Bash with me, Kukumatsu. In this episode, we will start the hard part. So, let's jump right in. Okay, now that we got ourselves started with something simple and easy, I think it's time to jump in on the uh, the harder part, and that is going to be the shoulder pieces. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it at this point. I'm just going to figure it out as I go. But the general plan is to make it longer. This line here, which matches up with this front line here, uh, I want also to be longer, and I want to. Uh, trim off the top and trim off the bottom so it's uh, narrower all the way. I don't know if it's going to be a flat top or a rounded top at this point. Probably flat, but uh, we'll see how it goes. As usual, I'm just figuring this out as I go, so I'm going to have to take it apart and figure out the best way to do this. This, th I mean, this piece here is split already, so my first thought is to pull that off, extend it out, and then fill in that gap as a, as a starting point. I'm going to take these things as separate steps, so in terms of the flattening of the top, I think it's going to be easier to pull out and get the, the extension done first and then figure out how to flatten the whole thing uh, together once that's stabilized. I think this one basically wants to move to the right and keep its relationship with this essentially the same and I'll have to build more over on this side once it's moved that way. And then all this stuff at the bottom here will get chopped off and then filled in. So let's pull it apart and just see what I need to do to get this thing out a little bit farther. Basically want to be kind of out there. I'm thinking it's going to be easiest to not try and make it all so that the panels can come off of the inner frame. I mean that's always easier for painting to be able to separate it, but um, to get all these shapes working and sitting in the right place, I think it's gonna be easier probably just to glue it all along with the uh, inner frame in there. And then at the very end, I will carefully paint the metal parts of the inner frame just using a brush. So really the question I think at this point is how far out do I wanna go? I think what I might do to make it easy to, uh, to do both sides the same is I'm just gonna extend it to where that peg touches the end of the inner frame, just like that. That'll be my guide. And I will start by putting some, some styrene spacers in there to get it kind of stabilized. Well, I'm gonna use this styrene here to fill that gap there. Basically, I need four parts that are exactly the same, and I think the easiest way to do that is gonna be to pull out the chopper and use that. Here we go. I don't use this thing very often, but uh, when I do, I sure I'm glad that I have it. Now, by eye, it looks pretty much like a 45 degree angle, so I'm just gonna start there and see how it goes. This one's 45 here. You know, as I do this, what I'm thinking might be smarter is to just glue this on here in a position that I'm happy with and then fill it. Because holding it and trying to fill those parts and get that shape correct is actually more of a pain than just, I think, gluing it on there and then filling that in. It can be a bit more imprecise with the angles that way. I just have to put a thing in there and fill the gaps with glue. So if I'm trying to do it this way, I have to have the angles exact. And there's, there's a kind of a weird turn on this one that uh, makes that a little bit more tricky. So what I think I will do is figure out a way to sort of get that in a position that is correct enough for me to glue it in. So goodbye chopper. The only thing that's making me hesitate at this point is I just want to glue it on there in such a way that I can repeat on the other side and have them be even. So I'm just trying to figure out a, a better way to sort of have this meet up. Okay, I think I have a solution to the problem. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that to sit on there and uh, I've been fiddling around with it for a while now, just trying to get a sense of how it might seat in there in, in a way or something, or if I just had to eyeball, eyeball it. But I think actually the solution is this, which is this registers in there, and as long as it, that is parallel with that line, then it's gonna be lined up pretty well. So I might just end up gluing the, the front and back of, of those on there, and that'll help me to get the extension going. And this definitely is tricky in terms of figuring out how to uh, get all these parts sort of stabilized in such a way that they're gonna be at the right relationship to each other afterwards. So I, I'm gonna start by, hmm, hmm, that's tricky. Yeah, I think that the best way forward is going to be to glue this on here and just get it seated right like that. And I'll do that on the back as well. And then that should help me line it up when I'm ready to stick it onto there. Well, getting the angle right is, is a challenge because as soon as I got the glue on there, I wasn't sure where it goes this way. So I think I need to do something about getting these all stabilized in a way that it's just not so much guessing. I think it might be time for sticky tack. 
build a little thing for this to sit on, get everything kind of working together if I can. You know, there's no real way to know what that angle should be. Yeah, it's an interesting problem because uh, the width is, is pretty critical because it has to go back on there. I'm just wondering, is there a way for me to do it while it's on there? Trouble there is, I can glue it there, but then I can't get it off. This one has to go that way and that one has to go forward. But maybe I just have to cut that peg. That'll definitely help. It'd really be nice if I could slide that that way. Maybe I can dig out this channel here to allow that to happen. So the idea is there that I can just slide that that way to remove it after it's glued. There we go. That will that will go that way. And this one just needs its peg cut off for that to work. I'll do the back one as well. The okay, back one will slide off as well. My confidence is growing here. Now I just need to glue it on there without gluing it to the inner frame accidentally because I still want to take it off. Feel stable. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Beautiful. Exactly what I was hoping would happen. There we go. Well, now what I'm thinking is that I could even extend this little uh, peg across a bit and that'll help me line it up like that. Basically, just want to keep it in line with what's there so it continues along. Okay, I got those tacked on there front and back. Let's see how this fits now. Ah, I'd say that worked pretty well. Feels a lot more stable. I'm very happy with that. I think that's pretty cool. And then when that's sort of trimmed off to about there, it'd be a very cool, sleek result. You know, there's part of me that... Uh, Think so what you just leave that exposed that looks cool with them you put some mechanical stuff in there and i do like that style as well but uh, i'm going to stick with my original intention and fill in all of these spaces with uh, more panel now this is the second master grade blitz gundam that i've built and i still have the old one i've used it uh, i've used parts of it for other projects um, which is why i had to buy another one for this project because it was all torn apart but uh, i still do have these pieces and i'm wondering if it's smart just to use that as the uh, extender i can get it to sit on there where it was to begin with and then just trim it. Let's get out the razor saw and do a little trim this. <laughs> You know, I think that is going to work. That is a nice line there. It was looking great. It hadn't occurred to me until just before I tried it that I could use that. I'm hoping this isn't going to come back to haunt me, but I'm actually just going to glue this right on to the inner frame right now. I'm trying to think of any reason I shouldn't do this right now, but I can't think of any, so here we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I'll go back to the uh, filling of this space here. Now I don't have to be nearly as careful of, about the shape. Basically something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it in. I'm going to put lots of glue on there because this will be a structural piece once I chop off the top. And I'll do that on the back as well. And just to make it really structural, I will fill in these gaps on the side. It's going to look messy now, but I'll be able to clean that up with the file later on. But basically what I want to do is I want to slice the top of the panels straight across like that. My my reference points are the, the corner here, so I want to end up kind of there. And I want to go basically where that gray piece is and just chop it across. So I'm going to try it with the razor saw and see how that goes. That is exactly what I was hoping for, and it feels pretty stable still. And uh, I'm going to finish that off with the file just to get it to the exact spot I want it. And this will be, this is one of the advantages of having a nice big file is that now I can do this and get an, a nice flat surface across the whole thing. Whereas with a with a smaller file, that would be a lot more difficult to get it perfectly flat. Well, I sure am happy with how that went. That is exactly what I was hoping it would be like. And we can really start to see the silhouette that we're going for here. That is great. Good time to stop on this side and get the other side matching up. The great thing about doing the other side is now I know what I'm doing. So I can just do it with confidence and enjoy the whole process. The only bad thing is I gotta make it match the first one. <laughs> All right, there is the other side done pretty close to symmetrical. I'm sure I can refine that as I go along. I think this maybe needs a little bit more sanding to make it flat on the top and that kind of thing. But uh, overall, very happy with the, the silhouette change and uh, I think it's looking pretty cool. Next step, we'll be doing all of the uh, filling and sanding and uh, making it look nice. Thank you very much for watching. That is the end of this week's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like on your way out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.